I didn't know how I would feel when I found my father's killer. I, I just didn't know how I would feel. Just seeing him in that courtroom, and just he just had this look. He just had this look like he knew what, that he had got away with something. And I just wanted to make sure that he knew that I had something to prove, okay? I had something to prove. It wasn't just about justice. It was about fucking making this motherfucker understand that he is not going to get away with this shit. I, I tried to hold back as good as I could. I tried. I tried. I, I tried. It was my time on the witness stand and they were asking me questions about how I felt when he bombarded in our household and put that gun to my father's head. It was just like a flashback. Like it, it just happened to me and I just, I just couldn't contain myself. So I jumped up off the stand and I took my hands around his neck and I strangled him right in front of the judge. And I said, judge, this is justice, judge. This is justice. And as his eyes started to pop out of his head, a sense of relief came over me as his body lay lifeless on the courtroom floor. Yeah, as I get ready to get out of the military, you know, I've been searching for jobs. I've been, you know, pretty much doing what any American does. Submitting fake resumes beefing up my LinkedIn account. So anyways, I got this really cool job interview. It was at this like, I mean, multi-billion dollar company. I mean, high rise building. If I could only get a job at this place, it would be a sign of success. So I submitted the resume, got the job interview. And uh, the, the CEO's office was like on like the 20th floor. And I tell you what, I had a horrible time getting up to his office. But by the time I finally got up there, I start the job interview. And, you know, I'm kind of militaristic. I'm staying at attention. I'm looking all serious. He's like, hey, Corey, just, you know, calm down a little bit. It's okay. I'm like, no problem, sir. I, Whatever you need, sir. Bottom line is, you know, I start. I was answering all his questions correctly and everything. And, uh, you know, pretty much everything I researched on Google, you know, about freaking what am I going to do to increase his bottom line and decrease uh, issues he's having in the office, all these crazy things like that. And he asked me one question. He's like, hey, you know, Corey, you're doing really well in this interview, but uh, why does your resume say Bob? Uh, about that, sir. Um, I lied. It's not my resume. He said, Corey, you know what? We're going to look past that. He's like, because I think everything else you're doing in this job interview is great. I said, Okay, sir, no problem. He's like, uh, can you can you kind of tell me about a situation you got yourself into and, and how you got out of it? And quite frankly, I didn't practice for this question. I wasn't prepared for it. So I told him, I said, hey, sir, there was this one time I was stuck on an elevator and I had a shit really bad. So I pulled my pants leg aside and I took a shit on the elevator. He kind of smirked a little bit and he said, Corey, um, I wouldn't expect anything different from you, you know, but I was more expecting a story, uh, you know, uh, example of a situation you got yourself into and, and how it would apply to our company. I said, well, sir, that was your elevator. And if you don't mind, I like to go wipe my ass. <laughs>